When people come to Central Florida, this is not the main street they have in mind. Outside the gates of Walt Disney World is a whole different kind of magic. Here you will find unique shops and restaurants, but most importantly, here you will find vintage vino. John Suited is the owner of Vintage Vino. Before opening his wine bar here in Kissimmee, Florida, John wrote for Wine Spectator magazine. Now that's a guy who knows about wine. Wine flights are everywhere. At any chain restaurant or even the hottest bar in your city, they will offer you a wine flight. But here, for a truly personal experience, John will talk to you about each wine as he pours. I'm going to start with a little French wine. This is Pinot Noir from southern France called Hobnob. That's not our typical pour, so I will get another bottle. Uh, second, we're going to do a Grenache from Australia, from Yalumba. We just did a class on this wine, and it's delightful. And then the last wine is a beautiful Zinfandel from uh, Dry Creek Valley and it's called Redemption. It's a beautiful way to end your wine flight. So around the world in three glasses at Vintage Vino on Thursday nights. Let's not forget the cheese plate. Well, cheese is essential to loving wine. Um, most people who drink fine wine love cheese. And I fell in love with cheese almost about the same time I fell in love with wine. And the cheese plate is one of our uh, hallmarks here at Vintage Vino. And I like to um, you know, treat people to some great flavor combinations. I think probably cheese and wine is one of the best pairings that there is in the world. Uh, it's very hard to pair wines perfectly with food since there's so many complexities, but with want, with cheese, wine is a perfect combination. Craft cocktails, craft beer, and boutique wines have exploded the last few years. It can be overwhelming with so many new choices to enjoy. So what we're going to do in our program is introduce you to one of our special experts. Yeah, we have experts on wine, on craft cocktails, and on craft beer. And guess what? Tonight, we've got Justin, because he sort of started here and started here with us. So this is Justin Hitu. Justin is our beer expert. He knows everything about beer. Everything. I know, I know nothing about beer. Everything about beer. About beer. I've, I've done a lot of research, let's say. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's told me he's going to make me like beer. Yes, absolutely. So along the ride, I'll I'm going to... make a believer out of you yet. Make me a believer. Absolutely. All right, so tell him a little bit about uh, Beer Church. Well, Beer Church is a Wednesday night tradition here at Vintage Vino. It started about six years ago. Uh, my buddy Kyle and I were regulars here, and uh, we usually came from work, so we were dressed like this. And uh, we were drinking beer, obviously, because that's what we do uh, professionally. And somebody walked by and said, you fellas look like you came from church. And uh, I, I, I actually don't remember if it was Kyle or I, but one of us said, yeah, Beer Church. And that name has stuck for years. And it's, a, it's, a tradition, it's now become a tradition here at Vintage Vino. Every Wednesday night is Beer Church, and it's our night to bring in beers that uh, nobody's ever had, or beer that I've made myself, and you can come out and, you know, drink with the pros and learn a little bit about beer and get a little drunk. Beer Church. Beer Church. Absolutely. Yeah, what? John! It's Beer Church! Oh! Yeah, yeah, so... Oh, I see? Guess, see, see, this is why we do it. Yeah, that's like brown. Yeah, absolutely. I know that's a color you're not used to. No. You're used to a little bit more reddish, Red. or a little bit more whitish, or yeah, yeah, in a fancier glass. But we're talking yeah. about beer church, man. You have to concentrate. Yeah, well, you're going to have to teach me about it. Absolutely. That's good. I What's will. all the foamy stuff on top? Uh, goodness, actually. That's <laughs> foamy actually, goodness? That's goodness. Yeah, that yeah, means it's yeah, good. good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. what we teach people. Yeah. Love it. That's where's, too bad you can't have one. I'm so no, sorry. Where's, where's my wine? Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. It's a craft beer night today. Mm. <laughs> They don't treat me well around here. No, no. I'm just saying. 
Another thing I love is that I can get food from three different restaurants delivered to me and never have to leave my wine flight. It's perfect. He said I suffered from an excess of personality. It's too much, it's it's too too much, much. for one person. It is what are you guys much. talking about? No, nothing important, man. You always leave me out of stuff. No, I'm oh, so man. sorry, man. But that's not good. Yeah. See, you finally got served. I oh, got yeah. wine. You did, I, I man. Did. No I thanks to you. you. I'm sorry, but it's a beautiful glass of wine. What is it? The Bellicosa. Bellicosa. Sauvignon from Sonoma. Mm, Sonoma. Yummy, and you guys got beer. We're talking yeah. about beer church, man. Yeah, yeah I'm going to go. I, I'm going to go. I'm going to get you with this program, man. Yeah. Eventually. Yeah, Eventually. Show, Eventually. Yeah. All right, Come you up. guys have a good time? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're, time. we're drinking. Too. Okay, hey, let's talk about this. This is Vintage Vino. You gotta come out here, check this wonderful wine bar out and Beer Church. Mm -hmm. Don't wanna miss on that. Guess what? Come back here to our great show. This is Drinking Hideaways. You gotta click and subscribe. That's somewhere on the screen. I have no idea where. But check that out. It should be fun. And hey guys, love you. Yeah, a lot absolutely. of fun. We're killing right. it tonight. Next show. That's on you. I think it should be on them. <laughs> it will be for Cheers. them. Absolutely. Yeah. Cheers. So this way we can um, we can get that. <laughs> oh, right. That's good. I like that. Wow. I know, right? I almost did it when the next time you said action, I almost wanted to be like, and that's the third time they said it wasn't infected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>